So today in our renovation of Hopwood Hall, we are gonna be making replicas of centuries old plaster molds taught to us by our resident master plasterer, Carl. But before we do that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. All right, so we are now going to be going into the workshop here at Hopwood Hall where all the volunteers are working on making plaster molds. And I'm gonna learn how to do this today. A little bit uh, unsure of my skills, but we have good teachers and uh, I think I'm gonna pick it up. Over the past few weeks, local residents have been taking our workshops learning how to turn old wood carvings into plaster casts. It can be a tedious process locating unique designs within the hall that are stable enough to be replicated. This means carefully cleaning, repairing, and steaming off layers of dirt and paint to be able to uncover the intricacies of the original designs. Right, the first mold that we're making is off the wood. Right. Right, so anything on a 400 year old piece of wood, you can't damage. Right. You can't stain it with any oils or anything like that because otherwise you'll have their guts for guards. Right, yeah? right. So what you've got to use is a stuff called alginate. Alginate's a rubber that's made from sort of seaweed. We start with a seaweed mix. It's green in color and really weird looking, but the good news is it's safe on the old wood and materials that it will be poured onto. That then hardens and we're able to carefully peel it off the original carving and create a mold. Then and from this we take the first cast and the cast we clean up, set it down on a piece of board, These are the first casts and then we clean them up and then hopefully we can make a mold of them from silicone. So here is one of the plaster molds that was from one of the doors in the morning room. And an entire mold was made. And now this is a copy, right Janet? Yes it is. And you're busy at work? Restoring the petals. Like if you see those, they're beautifully concaved on that side. But over time, this is possibly where the door was hit by oh, something. Oh, where people would lots. touch it probably, yes, right? so that this, just the lips of the petals are just sliced off over the years. I see, so now you're trying to, in the mold, you're gonna fix those so that yeah. when we recreate this, it, will it won't have that wear and tear. Absolutely. It'll look, Absolutely. be pristine, yeah. wow. Okay, so this is the door in the morning room that is currently off its hinges while that door frame is being repaired. But as you can see, down here in this left-hand corner is one of the designs that we are reproducing. So they're absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning hand-carved pieces. This is one that is a bit more worn. You can see here where the petals on the flower are a bit rough. But what's great is now with the plaster molding, we're able to get the detail back out of these two panels and recreate these amazing pieces. This one is this panel right here. And you can just see how much sharper it is in the plaster mold, how they've been able to repair uh, the wear and tear on this uh, original version in wood. And over here is the same. That one, of course, is in better shape. But the two of them are absolutely stunning together and will be able to be reused. And who knows, if we have extras, we might be able to sell them online or in our gift shop and those proceeds can go to help in the renovation and restoration of the hall. Look at this, a full crew here. What are you working on, Boyd? I am head, just trying to smooth off the back. Then it's when we make the mold, it's got nice smooth. Yeah. Is this in? This is a copy here that you have, right? That's a copy, yes. Yeah. yeah. This is the original copy from the cast. From the carved door. Yeah. From the morning room. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this what is we have to do is sort of try and fix all the pieces up so it looks clean. 
but it's still got all the definition inside it here. And then from there, you'll make a latex mold. No, and silicone. Then silicone mold. Silicone mold. And then from there, then plaster will be poured in there, we and we can, can reproduce those. We can do plaster, those. or we can use jasmineite. You can use any sort of right. plastic material. That's the alginate, you oh, see. Okay. So this is one of the molds. No, it's it's a rough. The first that's mold. That's the first what mold. You so you take this. Take off the this door. happens on the original. Yeah. Then from that you create this. Yeah. Then from that you create a actual. Yeah. A silicone yeah. mold that's going to last for the ages. Oh, and then here's the mold. What Cam and May are working on. That was the first mold. So you can see that becomes that, which will then become the other mold, the permanent mold. And look at this, I love this. Wow. Jeez. Now the molds are being made. Now how long will it take for these to dry? 24 hours. 24 hours and these will become set and it'll be permanent molds. Yeah. As permanent as it can be. As permanent as as permanent can be. And as long as you lay them on the flat surface, they will stay for a long time good. Okay, so to recap, this is the Elginate mold that we pour on the original wood carving. From there, we then pour this plaster, oh my gosh, this is heavy, onto it, creating this plaster cast. We then perfect this as much as we can. Of course, we want to leave some imperfections because those are the craftsmanship, but we clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up and make it look like it originally did. And from there, we pour the silicone over it and let that dry and then come up with this, which will be very sturdy and is very hardy and will last through the years. From there, we then pour plaster into that to let dry and come up with this, voila, the finished plaster mold. From there, we can then paint it or age it or put it through any sort of other techniques that we might want to do. And these will all be used in the restoration of the hall. And if we have any extras, we might be able to sell some of them in our online shop or in our gift shop and the proceeds will go to help the restoration. So if you're interested in having one of these hang in your house, let us know because we will be shipping worldwide. So I hope that you learned something. I know that I certainly did. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. If you'd like to see more videos, join us on Patreon. We put up multiple videos there every week, and we also have a TikTok channel. So we appreciate your support and hope you'll keep on watching. Thanks.